What's up guys, welcome back to Destiny Updates. Today we've got a bit of info on the exclusive Destiny content for PlayStation. In an interview on Metro with Jim Ryan, president and CEO of Sony Computer Entertainment Europe, he talks a bit about their deal with Activision for Destiny and how it compares to Activision's deal with Microsoft on Call of Duty. Saying, so Activision, yes, are doing stuff on Call of Duty with Microsoft. However, we are partnering with Activision on Destiny. And you know, Destiny is a new IP from Bungie, and there's going to be stuff that is exclusive to the PlayStation SKU for a window of time. And there's going to be a lot of PlayStation branded marketing collateral, and there's going to be PlayStation hardware bundles. Continuing, so, Destiny isn't a launch title, but it's pretty much an exact offset to what Activision is doing with Microsoft. And I would argue that as new IP coming from Bungie, I would rather be in a position of having a long-term relationship with Activision on Destiny than on Call of Duty, which has obviously been around for a very long time. So while this doesn't give us any solid facts to go on, it does give us an idea of what they're planning to do. When he says that there's going to be stuff that's exclusive to the PlayStation SKU for a window of time, along with the fact that he says it's pretty much an exact offset to what Activision is doing with Microsoft, I definitely think that means early DLC. Chances are it really will be an exact opposite to what Activision does with Microsoft on Call of Duty, which is obviously 30 day early DLC. That's something I've been guessing at for a long time now, especially since at E3 they said their deal with Sony is a long-term partnership, obviously meaning that it's stuff coming out over time and not just a few things on launch day. So again, just to be clear, this is not 100% confirmed, but it is very, very likely that this means that PlayStation platforms will have a timed exclusive over the Xbox platforms for Destiny DLC. Probably 30 days. In short, if you play on a PlayStation platform, chances are you'll have access to Destiny DLC 30 days early. Then of course there's the other two things in the article, PlayStation branded marketing collateral, we've already seen examples of that, whenever they go to events they always play Destiny on the PlayStation 4 and they always show it off on the Sony stages. So we'll just be seeing a continuation of that and probably even more of it as Destiny gets closer to launch. The other thing he mentions is PlayStation hardware bundles. I would say there's a good chance that PlayStation 4 is going to be the only console to get a sort of Destiny edition of the console. But I suppose Xbox could still do it as well, we'll just have to see. But anyways, I would love to know what your guys' thoughts are on this. Does it annoy you? Or do you think it's fair since Xbox already had Halo for 10 years? Does it affect what console you want to buy Destiny for? Would you purchase it for a PlayStation platform just to have Destiny DLC 30 days early? Let me know in the comments. I would love to hear your thoughts. But that's it for this video. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Be sure to subscribe for all the latest Destiny news, and I'll see you in the next update.